Hi friends, our today's topic is sitting arrangement and in this video we are going to solve one of the question based on circular sitting arrangement. So let's understand the question and try to draw the circular table for that. So the question is 8 person P, Q, R, S, T, U, V and W are sitting around a circular table. Okay, And after that there are some 4 statements are given followed by 2 questions. right? Okay, So let's draw the diagram for the confirm statements. So, 8 people are there. So, there is one circular table 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Right? Okay. Now, the first statement is now the first statement is S is to the immediate right of W and all are facing towards the center. That statement is missing. So, facing towards the center. Now the first statement is S is to the immediate right of W. So let's place W here in the bottom right and S is to the immediate right. So immediate right will be the very next person of the W. So this is my right side and this is my left side right. So S will be where S will be here. Now this was a confirm statement and it was very easy to draw. So this is completed. Now, V is not next to either R or T. So, this is not a confirm statement, right? So, V is not next to either R or T. So, we don't know where R and where T is sitting. We know the place of only W and S which we have already drawn, right? Okay, so this statement we will talk later. Now, W is to the immediate right of T. Okay, so this statement is W is to the immediate right of T. So, if you we'll place T here, then see this side right is there, right? So, immediate right means the W should be the very next right of T. So, T will have to place it here, right? Okay. Now, W is to the immediate right of T who is. So, this who will be just before that person whoever they are talking about. So, W is to the immediate right of T who is means T is sitting opposite to R. So, T is sitting opposite to R. So, R we will place it here. right? Okay, So, this is also a confirm statement and this also we have drawn it. Now, next is U and W are sitting opposite to each other. So, W is here. So, U will sit opposite. The opposite is this side. So, U also we have placed it. So, this statement is also completed. right? Now, what they are telling is V is not next to either R or T. So, see T next is W or this place. So, this place is already occupied by W. So, V cannot sit here because they are telling V is not next to either R or T. right? And what is the next of R? Next of R is this where U is already occupied and next of R is this place also. So, this place is not occupied. So, V also cannot sit here because they are clearly telling V is not next to either R or T. So, where V will sit? See, this place is occupied. V cannot sit here. This place is occupied we cannot sit here this place is also occupied we cannot sit here and anyway we cannot sit here this place is also occupied this place is also occupied so we can sit only here right okay now this statement is also done now out of p q r s t u v we have already placed v we have already placed u we have already placed t we have already placed s we have already placed r p and q is remaining and they have not given any information about P and Q. So, P and Q, I mean either P or Q can sit here or P or Q can sit here because they have not given any information about P and Q. So, we are not able to decide where P and Q will sit. right? So, in this question or in this circular table, we will have to place it like this. So, this is what? This is my final circular arrangement. right? Okay. Now, let us move to the question who is sitting opposite to S. So, opposite to S who is sitting? So, opposite to S V is sitting. right? So, out of 5 options we will have to select V as the answer. Then who is sitting 2 places to right of W. So, where is W? W is here and as they are facing towards the center then that means right is this side and left is this side. So, second right of W. So, second right of W is what? PQ. So, second right of W will be P 
or q means we cannot say uh, either p that means we cannot say out of p or q who is sitting second to w right who is sitting second right to w so my answer will be cannot determine you cannot determine who is sitting if p is sitting or q is sitting so the answer will be cannot determine or cannot say so thanks for watching the video